Okay, uh, let me quickly. Uh, good. Um, let me quickly see what I can do for you. Okay, in this presentation on PowerPoint. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm 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 very busy, very busy person. I don't know how to do it. I don't know that I have to help you the much I can. Um, just as the little I help you, just find a way to augment. Okay. All right. Um. Microsoft PowerPoint, you know, is the Microsoft package, Microsoft package of uh, presentation. Now you say that you want to use it to present your project, okay? Now this is simply what you're going to do. You, know, you need a computer, right? you need a laptop, or a desktop PC. You need a PC for for this, okay? All right. Um, let me open Microsoft Word. I'm using Windows 10. Whichever window you are using, you know how to prepare PowerPoint. Probably it's going to be on um, the desktop or any other place. It's uh, here, this is my Microsoft PowerPoint. I'm using Microsoft Power Office PowerPoint 2007. There are other versions. If you share versions you are using, there are other higher versions. The higher versions are not here right here, right now. Um, whichever version you are using, uh, and they are the, it is not going to be extremely different from what we're going to do right here. Okay. So with the experience we're going to get here, it will help you. Okay, now quickly let me jump in. Just click on Microsoft PowerPoint to open it. So this is how Microsoft PowerPoint is going to look, this is more or less how it's going to look. This is a slide, okay, and this is where you're going to make uh, most of your presentations, okay. Now we have only one slide here. Do you, you see this slide? We have only one slide here. And uh, you know, when you're making a presentation, you're, you're not going to make that presentation in one slide only. Instead, you're going to make the presentation in so many slides, okay. Okay, so what we're going to do is that we are going to um, insert many slides. Let's say, let me see, let me just assume that you are um, making a slide uh, using like five slides, but you're going to use up to like 20 slides or even more. Okay, but let me just assume that you're using five slides. Look at how you're going to do it. Um, click here, new slide, new slide to, to add slide. You see, we have slide two, new slide again, slide three, or you can press control M, control plus M to add slides. Okay, whichever one, it's okay. We added five slides here. One, we have one, two, three, five. Okay. Then let's go to the first slide. In the first slide, you see, click to add title. Just click here. Type in the title of your presentation. Here, I'm going to. I'm using my Microsoft Office have a handout. Let me just say, I want to. I want to uh, introduce Microsoft uh, um, Office. Okay. The Microsoft Office Word. Let me just say Microsoft Office, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Word. And I want to introduce Microsoft Word. That's the title. With your own, the, ti your, the title you are going to use is going to be your own title, okay? The title of your project. Do you understand? But let me just use this one as my title. Okay, you know how to build a title, it's a size of it. If you have subtitle, you, you enter here. Let's just say um, full tutorial. To tutorial, um, to, to tutorial is okay. I just want to preview it. So this has formed the title, okay. Now let's go to slide two, the second slide. Okay, this is where you enter the the title of the second present the first the second presentation. That's the presentation you're going to make here. Okay, let's say um, you want to insert the text. Maybe um, let me open this standard again. Maybe make uh, we use Office Microsoft Office. I copy here, then I will go back to Microsoft to PowerPoint. I will paste. I will paste. This is the title. See, these are formed the title. Okay. So here is, uh, if you want to insert something like table, charts, smart ads, pictures, script ads, and video. Okay. Um. But let me just insert text. Let me insert only text. Let's say if I want to insert text. I'll just uh, um, insert text. Maybe this, is, if I want to insert bulleted text, text with bullets. Maybe you want to start uh, introduction. Introduction. Okay. After introduction, you want to also talk about. This is the heading. You're just introducing the heading of what you're going to talk about. The table of contents of table. Then after that, you talk about uh, formatting. Formatting. 
Okay, then talk about uh, um, maybe objects, object. Then talk about uh, images and all that. Then this is the process text. Then you come here. Then say you want to insert table. Click on table here. Type in the number of rows and columns you want to insert. Then say I want to insert four columns and uh, five columns and six rows. That is the table. You can format the table from here. And let me just use the table the way it is. Are you getting me? Here you can now type in, type in whatever you want to be in the column. Maybe names of students. Maybe here you type in names. Then you type in age. Then you type in phone number. Then you continue. Then here you type in their names and all that. That's, that is the table. Maybe you can come here and type in the title as well. Then uh, students, something like that. Okay, quickly then you go to the next slide. Go to the next slide. Maybe here you want to put a chart of whatever you are you're presenting. You have a chart. They click here. Choose the type of chart you want to put, uh, you want to uh, insert. Okay, let me insert this particular chart. Then you click OK. Okay. Then you wait for this chart to be inserted. Okay. This insert, the chart normally opens with Excel. Okay, it goes with Excel. So you have to well, you have to come here. Maybe come here. Type in the what you want to be on the category of the charts okay let's say um it depends on what you're presenting anyway and let me just say student um okay that's student okay let me just say applications correct no? correct correct no? is the category and mm -hmm. microsoft powerpoint powerpoint um ms word ms word okay and then uh, page maker page maker okay uh, so having done this maybe you shift it a bit then you come here put what you want let me just leave it as it is right now so you see what i entered has been here has been uh, uh, populated here do you get that that's just that that is the chart so when you are done with the chart you maximize it okay then you go to the last it's not the list here here you start there um you insert pictures let me choose one picture and start let me insert one picture um let me locate picture where it is let me just quickly go here search for pictures any picture so i can start any picture any picture can start maybe this one insert that's the picture, then you type in the title too. Maybe uh, mansion, mansion, okay. Mm. Then finally, let, let me insert one more slide. Insert one more slide here, then let's say video. Insert video, insert video. Um, video, video, yeah. And then I have video over right here, yeah. Let me insert, but let me say please, just if you want to start with a click here and insert, okay? A uh, video may hang my system right now. But let me save it. Save with uh, MS uh, PowerPoint presentation. Just save it with your own project. Let me say my project. Let me just call it my project. And save it on the desktop. Okay? Save it on the desktop. All right. I'm not going to start video because probably it's going to take my time and uh, and uh, my time I may not have the time the patience uh, to wait. But just know that is how you can insert video. Okay. So having so done that, we are done with it. We are done with it and we've saved it. Okay. And that is the your presentation. All right. Then if you want to show it, if you want to present it. You can add animation from here, but I don't have the time to do that, okay? You can add an animation, just transition, you have transitions here. Then you can add animations, so we can click on custom animation here, add animations. I can't be able to do that. Maybe you can also, you can get the tutorial on how to add animation from YouTube, okay? Because I don't have much time, okay? Okay, let me just, let me see if I can add one for you. Okay, this transition, click on... This is the slide now. Okay, you want to add transition to this slide. Click here. You click on each of the transitions. It will be added. 
Are you getting me? Uh -huh. So that is it. So if you click on custom animation, then you can add animation to this. Maybe and add animation entrance. You want so uh, you want it to fly in. Choose fly in here. This is how it flies in. That is it. That's how you can keep adding animation. Maybe you come here again, do the same thing. Do the same thing to this one. Maybe emphasis, grow and shrink. This is how it grew and shrink. Uh -huh. So that is it. That's animations, okay, and the transition. So you also add a, you add a, um, a transition here, maybe something like this. Any uh, you know, of this one, that's okay. Having done that, and I don't have all the time to begin to add, add transition and animation and all this. So let me quickly add, because uh, we are darling, then we just kind of help you add the animation to this. So I think I'm done. Now, when I'm done, let me say finally, and the uh, review finally. So how do you preview it? Uh, you go to um, slideshow. You go to slideshow now. You start from the beginning. Start, uh, start from the beginning to show the slideshow. From the beginning, you see. It is now, that is when you're presenting it uh, for the audience to see it. Okay, you're presenting it. Then once you click, it will appear. Once you click, it give appearing. Then you explain what you want to explain. When you are done with the explanation, you click next. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then you keep uh, going. Do you get it right now? Well, you move to the next one. That's how you continue doing it until you are done. Um, you can still time the animation so that you don't. It will be going by itself. You don't need to be clicking in the mouse. But I don't have all the time. Okay. Thank you so much. Just use this, I believe this one can be, can help you, okay? Thank you so much.